started right now. We have Emily Troutman as our uh, captioning person, uh, and she's in Maryland also. So for 30 minutes, we're going to talk about how to apply for a position in the federal government using the Schedule A hiring authority. And um, we're going to use this PowerPoint, and we're going to go to a couple of uh, websites, and we're going to uh, be looking at how uh, we can help you apply for a federal job. If you have questions, you can write them in the question box, and I will speak them. And then Emily will also be typing up a summary of our notes. So to get started, I'm going to use the PowerPoint. And uh, this PowerPoint was created by Larry Kimball, who uh, works for the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services. He is a Schedule A coordinator. And um, we're going to go through the PowerPoints first, and then I'm going to show you a couple of other resources. The Schedule A Hiring Authority is an accepted service appointing authority. And it is created for people with disabilities to have special consideration and accommodations for a government job. You can get a copy of these PowerPoints after the class if you will write me an email. And when you send that email, you should write to me and tell me what you learned in this webinar. And I will send it to you. So the Schedule A appointment uh, does not need to be advertised. And it does not have to um, have a, a closing date to fill the position. So you can read the points that are here on the PowerPoint. You do have to have a severe disability. I'm going to show you the list of the disabilities that are considered to be severe disabilities. I have this list posted on my website. And I will show it to you. And you can print it out and get familiar with it. So the Schedule A is a letter or a certification. And who can write the Schedule A letter? A medical doctor can write it. A vocational rehab specialist can write it. Many doctors have never heard of the Schedule A letter, so you may have to give them information about what it is for government, and then they would write this letter for you. And we'll show you a sample. So the requirement for a certification of job readiness is now removed. And also, work and education experience is not required for a temporary appointment. So if you look at USA Jobs, those announcements, you have to have relevant, specialized experience. But for a Schedule A letter and a person with a disability, you may not have to have the exact specific experience to get a temporary appointment. And agencies have the option to hire people with disabilities into temporary positions. And they have the ability to convert you from non-competitive to permanent. So that's great. And I'm glad they changed the term from uh, mental retardation to intellectual disabilities. That's good. More Schedule A facts. Temporary means up to one year and can be converted. Time limited um, with the disability documentation when the duties of the job do not require that it be filled on a permanent basis. So it might be turned into permanent or it might not be. But for sure, the certification must be provided for a permanent position. Now, it's very important to build uh, relationships and partnerships if you want to market yourself 
as a person with a disability. You'll want to collaborate with your EEO office if you're already in the government. And you would want to get to know the selected placement coordinator for offices where you might want to work. I'm going to show you that list. If you do work in the government, you might ask for support from your EEO office for reasonable accommodations and disability education training. It's very important to ask for accommodations if you need them, if you have a disability. But you can't ask for accommodations if you don't have a Schedule A letter. Also, you're going to share information and uh, resources for implementing the Schedule A hiring um, across the federal disability hiring. And if you don't know, ask whoever you might be working for, whether it's permanent or temporary. Now, for uh, HR people and supervisors can find candidates from these two websites. The VA for Vets website is for veterans, and OPM has a list of people with disabilities at this website. You can look at this later on this evening. And the third one is for students, the WRP.gov program. Students can put their resume into WRP. But with WRP, you have to put your resume in the system through your college career center. If you want more information on that, our book, Students Federal Career Guide, is very helpful about WRP. Now here's a sample of a Schedule A letter. The letter must be printed on the doctor's letterhead, and it has to have a signature. And this is all it needs to say right here. So if you email me, I can give you this PowerPoint, and you can show this to your doctor to get the letter. It does not need to say anything about what your disability is at all. And this is a sample of a veteran's letter, a VA letter, if you're a veteran. And this is a little different. And so if you would like to have more information, you can write to me. I'll be sending you my email after the webinar. And you can um, write to me if you have more questions. Now I want to show you um, a couple of other resources here. This is my website. And this is me, actually. This is a photograph that Emily took at a webinar we were at a workshop we were at. So let's click on resources here on the website. And I'm going to show you two important resources. One is the Schedule A Disability Coordinators list right there, Schedule A Disability Coordinator. Click on this, and it will show you the most current name of the selective placement coordinators. So in, um, let's say, Maryland. Now, the names that are in this list may or may not be the most up-to-date. You'd have to write to people and see if they're still performing this job. So if you wanted to work at Consumer Product Safety Commission, you would write to Nakia Stewart. And you would send along your resume, your Schedule A letter, and your cover letter. And hopefully she would write back to you. Now, there's a big chance that she might not write back. But you should write to her again. And uh, be very persistent when you're trying to communicate with the special A um, 
Oh, Kendra Duckworth, I actually know that name. So here are all the people. So you can apply for jobs with the Schedule A two ways. One is through USA Jobs, and the other is to write directly to the Schedule A coordinator. Esteban Morales is the Schedule A coordinator for NASA. These coordinators keep your resume in a folder on their desk. And when they are interested in hiring someone with your background, they'll write to you. I know Jim Adams Anderson. So this is a very important resource for you to know about. Another thing on my resources page that we just added is the uh, Schedule A self-identifying form. These are all of the uh, Target One disabilities that uh, President Obama is wanting to hire more people with these disabilities. Here's Targeted One and here's Targeted Two. So you can look at this later on and uh, determine if your disability is in one of these categories. Also, I said before, you want to send a cover letter to the special aid coordinator. This is a free cover letter builder we have on our website. It is an excellent cover letter builder. It's just very simple. My relevant experience includes one, two, three. I believe that I'd be an asset to your organization because and you would need to start out up here that I'm, I am an applicant with a Schedule A letter. And you click on Send here at the end. This cover letter will come into your email in just seconds. So also here's a wonderful blog that I wrote in 2011. This is me and Krista Nowicki, and this was in Battle Creek, Michigan. I was speaking to Schedule A employees there. And I love this article. It's incredibly helpful. It refers to the President's Executive Order. And here are the tips for applicants. It says here that um, Supervisors have a very unique opportunity to hire high-quality individuals who may have a disability. And uh, they can hire faster if they use the Schedule A folder that's on Krista's desk rather than running their recruitment through USA Jobs. So what it says here is you sh your disabilities coordinator is your Schedule A hiring consultant. Jim Peterson is the Schedule A coordinator for Social Security Administration. And he is someone who you could get to know and write a couple of times in order to get hired. You need to, it says, get to know your friendly, hardworking disability coordinator. And then you would send your um, resume. Again, I'll, you send your resume, your cover letter, and your um, Schedule A letter. Now, here is the resume that I would recommend that you send. Here is the sample cover letter. Where is it? Over, wait, just one second, I'll find it for you. You can, um, you don't have to apply for jobs through USA Jobs. You can go directly to those Schedule A coordinators and send this resume format. One second, I'm getting there. Right here, success stories. And while I'm opening this, the Federal Resume Guidebook has an entire chapter on writing uh, the Schedule A letter and the Federal Resume. So you should consider the Federal Resume Guidebook as a resource. So here's the paper format. This is the format you should use 
for Schedule A applications. Also, there are other samples in the Federal Resume Guidebook. This is our outline format. It's very clear. Um, this person is going to be applying for contract administration, and we've used the keywords here to uh, feature the skills that are relevant for that position. There's also a sample of a Schedule A cover letter in the Federal Resume Guidebook. That chapter was reviewed by a Schedule A coordinator. She liked the chapter very much. So I would recommend that you consider that. So this is the OPM page where the Selective Placement Program coordinators are posted by state. I have a question from Brandon again. Brandon is very serious applicant, I see. Are the IRS jobs outside of USA jobs? No, IRS, IRS positions are mostly posted in USA jobs. But IRS does have a selective placement coordinator. You need to find out who that person is. And then write to that person with your cover letter and your um, select your Schedule A letter and your resume and get to know that person. Melissa has a question here. She says, every time I submit Schedule A, I have to go to my doctor and he acts, acts, does he actually have to sign it to make it valid? Oh, you should, uh, Melissa, just take one, get one Schedule A letter and have the doctor sign it. Altogether, just one. They definitely don't have to sign it for each application. Just make a copy. It's fine. Am I going to show a sample of a cover letter? No, I don't have a cover letter today. I don't think I have a sample cover letter. Brandon, you should use my cover letter builder and try to write your letter. And then you can send it to me after the class. <laughs> I'll look at it for you. I'd love to see it. Brandon asked another question. Is it your advantage to include Form 256 if you are a targeted disability? Or is it better to competitively apply? Well, Brandon, what is a Form 256? You have to do, you have to apply both ways. It's best if you go ahead and apply for jobs with USA Jobs and apply competitively. But also, definitely write to the Schedule A coordinators and be consistent and persistent with uh, communicating with your, your Schedule A coordinators. If you really get to know a coordinator and you do have good background for that agency, it is completely possible that you could get hired. But it does take extreme perseverance to help the, to get the selective coordinators to recognize you, to respond to you, and to give you the information that you need. I have helped a lot of uh, Schedule A people get hired in government and it does take a lot of um, extra work on the part of the person with a disability. Um, huge perseverance. My friend Charles Clark, who is a Schedule A coordinator, says that you have to be a pest to get the attention of the Schedule A coordinator. And he means that sincerely. Be a pest. <laughs> so. Okay, I think that's all the questions we have for now. IRS. Okay, so here we go. Um, right. If you have any other questions, you can go ahead and write them. So the cover letter can help you tremendously, and then the sample resume needs to be in the uh, outline format to show what kind of position you're looking for. 
this Federal Resume Guidebook has a good sample in it. I really think it's great if you know what job is right for you. Let me show you one other thing that you should know about on our resources page, the classification standards. You need to be familiar with this also. This is the official description of jobs in government. And when you write your federal resume, it's right here, position classification standards for white collar. So I'll just open this up. This describes the jobs that you want. Brandon, what kind of position are you looking for? Maybe we can find your job on this classification standard list. Anne uh, writes a question here. Are Schedule A coordinators using PD solely written for people with disabilities or scanning the general position descriptions and recommending candidates? And they're just using the regular position descriptions. There are no special jobs for people with disabilities. They're regular jobs where they provide accommodations. Brandon wrote back saying economics and business. Well, business is right here. Business and industry group. So Brandon, you need to read this. Also, find economics. I'm not sure where that is. I think it's 1100. So Brandon's major is economics and business. And I recommend the 1100 series for Brandon. So you can't just send any resume to a, set, a selected placement coordinator. You have to target the resume toward a series and a job if you want to get um, a response. So do some research before you write to the coordinator and find out what the mission is of that organization and target the resume towards some of those positions and you'll have better results and maybe even have a conversation with the coordinator about what kind of applicants would be best for their agency. You really need to work the Selected Placement Program Coordinator system and write to a few of them. One person might be friendly, another person non-existent. Find one or two who will write to you and who will uh, respond and give you information and or yeah, talk to you by phone or by email, whatever is best for you. So are there any other questions? Because I think we have finished the content that I wanted to cover this evening. Um, in order to get a copy of my PowerPoint, you can uh, write me a cover letter to my email address, which I will type in the, um, in the box here, Catherine at resume-place.com. I would like you to tell me what you learned from this webinar one or two things that will help you with your job search, and then ask for the PowerPoint. The PowerPoint is copyrighted. It's for you only. This webinar is taught to help you navigate Schedule A hiring. So any other questions, anyone? I am going to be saving this, and hopefully if it turned out, we're going to post it on USA Jobs. On, I mean, on uh, YouTube, we'll see. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a great evening, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Thank you.